All right, guys. So I got some news for you. It's a little bit of Royal Rumble news um, and a little bit of news in general with some top stories from the weekend. Um, first of all, most of you watched the Royal Rumble with me. We know that Ronda Rousey won the Rumble. We know that Brock Lesnar lost his title to Lashley and then came back in the Rumble and won the Rumble. We know that now Lashley has the Monday Night Raw title. Roman Reigns still has his title. Becky Lynch still has her title. We know that as of Monday, Brock Lesnar has announced that he will be challenging Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But for till then he plans on doing a title for title match um at wrestlemania he is entered into the elimination chamber which we found out monday bobby lashley will be defending his title in so for the elimination chamber the men's we have lesnar lashley theory seth rollins aj styles and matt riddle um, like I said, Brock Lesnar will be defending his, t uh, Brock, Bobby Lashley will be defending his title in that match. Um, we also saw as of Monday, Lita came out and challenged Becky Lynch at the Elimination Chamber. Becky has accepted that challenge. Um, so we will see Lita versus Becky at Elimination Chamber. I foresaw that for WrestleMania but they're doing it for Elimination Chamber. There could be a rematch at WrestleMania depending on what happens at Elimination Chamber, but we will see. I believe uh, Ronda Rousey will be challenging Charlotte Flair. There is some speculation that it's going to be a triple threat match again with Flair, Becky, and Ronda at WrestleMania. We'll have to see how that unfolds. Um, also for the Brock Roman match, some people are saying Seth Rollins is going to be added to that match. Um, not sure if that's going to happen. Brock is supposed to officially challenge Roman Friday. Ronda is also supposed to show up Friday on SmackDown to make her decision of who she's challenging. Um, she said tonight on Raw that she doesn't see Becky as a suitable challenge for her. But we'll see what happens there. Um, if you didn't hear, apparently the WrestleMania sign that was on display at Royal Rumble caught on fire at the end of the event when Ronda Rousey won. When they set off the fireworks, apparently it caught the WrestleMania sign on fire to the point where fans that were around that sign had to be evacuated because the sign itself started melting and falling to the floor or to the seats. Um... On a little bit of other news, um, they haven't officially announced it, and I think we all know why. Jeff Hardy's drug test came out clean. He passed the drug test. Apparently, behind the scenes, WWE tried unburning that bridge by trying to make good with Jeff and talk to him about a Hall of Fame um, induction and tried getting him to re-sign some sort of contract. Jeff refused. Um, apparently, Tony Khan does have plans to offer Jeff a contract with AEW as soon ha as his no-compete clause is done in March with WWE. Until then, we know that Matt and Jeff are going to do a Hardy Boys uh, tour starting um i believe it's february march um where they're going to be going to a lot of independent house shows and teaming uh and then we have if a lot of us wondered what happened with velveteen dream if you remember velveteen dream from nxt back when there was a lot of sexual uh, allegations. Apparently Velveteen Dream was accused of soliciting sexual favors from minors. There was one main accuser and 
Apparently, WWE, when the accusation first came out, did a investigation and found no, um, nothing to contribute to that that accusation was true, and they kept him on the roster. Apparently, that accuser started a hashtag release Velveteen Dream, and it the movement became so big. He the apparently the the kid was showing up at Full Sail Stadium with signs and things like that and uh, WWE found that it was hurting their bottom line so that was when they ended up releasing Velveteen Dream um, and they did it kind of quietly even though there was nothing to back the accusations um, that were being made about Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream still denies it and says the accusations are full of shit and that even WWE said that they found nothing to say that the accusations were true um, and that he felt like they only did it to save fate, to save their bottom line because that movement started becoming so big because of this accuser. Um... We also found out that Leo Rush at an independent scene separated his shoulder over the weekend. Um, so he will be out of action for a while. If you remember, he was one of the ones whose contract expired from AEW, who, did they, who they did not re-sign. So he is a free agent. Um, and also, Rio also ended up with an injury she broke her collarbone so she will also be out of action for a while um there's also some reports that uh kurt angle is going to be returning for a storyline with wwe um there's some rumors he actually confirmed that he will be returning to tv for a certain storyline he didn't say what it involved but he said it would be about a month-long storyline. People are speculating that it's going to be part of the Alpha Academy, which makes sense. If you've been watching, you know that Chad Gable has been talking a lot about his Olympian background, and he said tonight on Raw that he has contacted some of his Olympian friends. I'm assuming that's going to kind of be connected to Kurt Angle in some way. Um, also, some sad news for Shotzi Blackheart. Her dad passed away on Sunday. She put a post up on Twitter saying that he was her biggest role model and that she was going to miss him. Um... I also wanted to remind you that this Wednesday is the day that I believe that Wyndham Rotunda is going to be debuting on AEW Dynamite. So I will be streaming that to see if he truly does debut. I've been, as you know, I've been watching some of the promos that have been getting released, and that is what I am taking away from those promos. Braun Strowman was in the most recent one. I believe that Wyndham is going to be end up being involved in the family of Black um, with Malachi. So, uh, whether or not, I'm assuming because they've kind of roped in Braun Strowman, he's going to also be involved in that. We also have a couple of uh, speculations that Matt Riddle is going to end up winning Elimination Chamber and walking away with a title. I've been seeing some reports that apparently uh, Randy and Riddle are going to be broken up and they're going to end up going into a feud over that title. So that could end up being what the one of the main events are for WrestleMania. Um, so we'll have to see how that works out with um, the summer plans. Could be SummerSlam that it happens. It could be WrestleMania. But apparently they're supposed to go into a feud over the title. Um, other than that, guys, um, I think that's about it for now. 
I have been kind of following some reports, but I'm not saying anything yet because I haven't confirmed anything. And you know, I always like to confirm my shit before I report. Um, but I will keep my eye out on any of these other stories that are coming about and let you know what, if anything, comes out on them. Um, but I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about these stories and see if you agree with some of the um, predictions and speculations on where we are going from here. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Love you all. Thanks so much. Peace.